Hi, and welcome to another episode of Bespoke Architects Daily Pinup. I'm Nicole Walters, Director of Bespoke Architects, and I'm about to show you what, made, what inspiring images made our Pinterest boards today. There was a bit more content today, but I am wondering whether the COVID-19 pandemic has in fact slowed down the upload of inspiring images to the internet at the moment because they don't seem to be quite as much content out there as they used to be. Uh, but let's work our way through it. There are a couple of projects that really caught my eye. The um, extension of a family house. What I really liked was the materials internally. And so it's got a brick gable roof. We can see the iron or the steel strapping there for that. Uh, it is shingle on the outside. Uh, and then just a combination of like the rendered walls and then um, over here we can see the glass skylight. So it was a lot of this was around materials. I really liked that fireplace at the end. We can see the flue outside there. That elevation is really lovely. The flue um, and that off-centered entry door make it all asymmetrical. So I'm really enjoying that. And as you can see, that entry hallway isn't actually in this main space. It's out there with a glass uh, ceiling to it and obviously a glass wall looking through that. So it's a really interesting little house. I quite like, as I say, the material palette, the composition of elements and this window seat. We can see there's a cushion on it in this picture. And then here looking at it front on, I really like the way that it's not a rectangle. It's got a slope in it. So if you were sitting in it, that's like your backrest. And then this book storage, which is integrated into that solid wall and rendered around. So I just, it has elements that I really enjoy. There was an article on glamorous glass bricks. This image here, I really like, which is the sort of the contemporary take, if you will. So it's the proportions of a normal brick made out of glass. Uh, there was a lot in the article, which reminded me of the 80s. So I didn't really pin that. This one I would say is more of an 80s style glass brick, but I actually pinned it for the staircase. Not the necessarily the glass bricks beyond and just be mindful in Australia. Obviously, this would need a balustrade down this side of the staircase to prevent fall. But still an amazing yellow staircase. And I really like the asymmetry of this tread pattern. So that's why that one made the board. Uh, from that same article, I really enjoyed this. So that translucent glass brick, and then they've inserted these cl clear steel doors in sets going through that space, in sets in those spaces. So I really quite like that as a wall material. I'm finding it really inspiring today, actually, the glass brick. And then this little one came from that same article. Obviously the glass brick is to the exterior, but what I actually pinned this one for, again, something different, was this uh, catwalk in the middle. So we can see the stair void on this side that's got the steel uh, wire and then the glass at this end. We see the solid glass panel to this void in front of that glass wall on this end. And then the catwalk itself is actually a glass, uh, tinted green glass floor. So it had a lot of pieces that I really liked, not necessarily the glass brick wall uh, that the image was promoting. And that's often the case in Pinterest or when you're cruising the internet. The things that you're pinning for may not be the, at the forefront or the title of the article. It may be a detail uh, within that image. So it's certainly worth pinning and reviewing your pins with your architect to, to sort of talk about what it is in that image that appeals to you. Uh, and I always tell my clients not to edit their pins because personal style does really come through on a pin. So you don't need to necessarily edit because your style will speak for itself even in your absence. Uh, and then the use of this glass brick in this facade where it's creating this three-dimensional form, there's actually an entry door over here on the broader picture for that entry. I believe it's a retail space, but I just really like that. That felt like um, sort of a throwback to the Frank Lloyd Wright sort of art deco period there with those um, diamond shapes in that facade. So I really liked that. Uh, the Y house or house Y, the staircase, I really liked the proportions of this staircase. It is, you know, a multi-level home that is leading up to a roof garden with an entry exit point through a glass wall there. Just the way that the staircase is very thin. Uh, obviously, again, this balustrade is non-compliant in Australia. We would need to add something to prevent fall. But just even the way the window placements are on the landing there, and then we can see that that's potentially storage or a drawer in that landing. And then on this landing, we have a window also. So they should be at your eye level. 
uh, when you're entering that stair. So that just adds another layer of interest, I guess, to that stair and that's why it's made the board. Also from that uh, particular project, I did like this entry area. So we can see that there's a set down in the floor and they've done it in that curved shape, which sort of will be like the door arc when it opens. Hopefully the door arc opens that way. If it opens that way, it would not work for me. Uh, but that's just my OCD talking. Um, so that is what I really like about that, just the set down in the floor. It's all the same material, but they've added that interest with that curved step in it. And then you can see even the troweling finish on that concrete also sort of has that curved flow to it. So I, quite, I really like that. Uh, what else have we got here today? The H house had some interesting things. It was kind of like these different levels that's created in that house. That's It's got a obviously a central um, skylight sort of courtyard space and we can see these different levels interacting with each other and we can see that the window, so that's a full wall with a window in it which is a bedroom space. There's the other view of it there or from the other side it is a, a sleeping space and then that more social space has just got the open glass balustrade of the living room that feeds down to that kitchen uh, sort of dining space. So I just, I really like the integration of levels in that project. That's an image of their kitchen. I really like that island bench. I like that suspended timber pendant. We catch a glimpse of it here with the leather strap. Then we see that island bench has the induction hot plate, but from the dining room side, it's got that raised edge. So we don't actually know what's happening. And then it's sort of got like a little bar made out of timber that's picking up that light fitting and this light fitting. So it's just a palette of interesting materials and certainly a lot of different levels going on in it because we can see one side of the island bench has got a higher floor level than the other as well. Uh, and also from that project, I really liked this vanity unit. So the timber with that really interesting mirror, it does have a skylight around it as well as a window and then the asymmetry of that pendant light above the open shelving. It's a well thought out vanity, um, I guess is my point. Uh, the Valentine house, which is this one here, I really liked the cantilevered form, that really large form on the ground floor of the light color with the dark box and then replicated and reversed on the upper level where we've got the dark box and the cantilever going the other way and then contrasting with the light box next to it. And internally, their fireplace um, really caught my eye. Just the way they've done that seat next to the fireplace and it's all at the one level. I did do that at Bespoke Derbyshire House I think it was number two, the Holiday House and Indented Head, where we did exactly that in a family room. We had a fireplace and a window and a window seat right next to it. And I felt the end result was it worked really, really well. Uh, so that was all the images from today around the web. Uh, I leave you with this image of our office. I have been working through uh, the pandemic here in Australia and we are still being asked to work from home. I've actually been coming into the office every day uh, my business partner and the rest of our staff have been working from their respective houses. Uh, so in everybody's absence, I actually had the outside of the office painted green. Uh, we are in the middle of a car park and a bit of a concrete jungle. So I felt like green was a really lovely sort of natural color to go back to. Uh, so I put a little pin up of that because it's just happened and I'm very excited with the result. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Bespoke Architects Daily Pinup. I look forward to catching you all tomorrow with some more inspiring architectural images from around the internet. Until then, take care. Bye.